kind of what a sensor light's been doing. This is a little bit of a gimmick, but I like it. Just got to figure out how to get it apart. G'day, Kent here. Join me today as I rip this old dirty lamp off, clean it up, paint it to match the front door. Let's do it. Oh, seized. That there, that screw there is seized. I think I'm gonna to have to take it down to the workshop, soak it in some penetrating fluid or something to loosen the rust so we can get it apart. Let's get the power off so we can uh, disconnect this safely. Here's an easy way to figure out whether your power <laughs> is supplied or not. Turn the light on and then go to the fuse box and turn the circuit off. If the light goes off, then we're good. disconnected these wires from the lamp but I'll put the little screw caps or wire caps whatever these are called back on to that main feed from the house so that isolates them disconnect the earth from the lamp and then that'll be free to take away and because they're secure we can turn the power back onto the light don't lose that little earth screw Kent oops I think you just did like peeling a potato. Ooh, finds the cut. Probably should be wearing gloves for this. Never mind. If I was doing more than one lamp, I would. I don't know. That's me trying to justify it, being lazy and not wearing gloves. Pretty cool, it's got a nice shine to it. All right, so we've got a couple of coats of paint on here. It's not classic vintage car perfection, but it's good enough. I've cleaned up these lenses in the sink, just gave them a little scrub. They're um, perspex, not glass, which is cool. Now the paint's not completely hard. It's touch dry, but it's not completely hard. Oh, I see, it's actually got a bevel on it. Okay, so it needs to go in this way. Curious to see how that's, actually that looks kind of cool. The two colors, like an amber colored perspex and then ironstone for that paint. Now I found a couple of screws here, which I think will fit. That part fitted through there. If I can get a nut on there, we'll be in business. I get that there's no light bulb in there at the moment. I just wanted to assemble it and make sure that it all looks okay and that it's come up all right condition. It will definitely look better than it was. Now the very exciting part is how we're gonna light this up. And I've got a plan. I'm thinking let's get one of these smart globes in there. It's an Arlec Grid Connect. So I've got to download that Grid app to make this work. Oh. So without the app, I think it just works as a normal light bulb. Yep. Download the app. Pair it to my phone and then use it. That's pretty cool. So that's connected to the Wi-Fi. I can remotely turn the light on and off, change colors, change brightness and so on. What I'm thinking is when I get home late from shift, it's dark, I can turn the light on using my phone and then get in the front door without waking anyone. But I guess that's what sensor lights have been doing for decades. So it's maybe a bit of a gimmick. $16 from the hardware store, pretty cool product. I'm trying to get 
the first impressions of this house from the 80s to a little bit more modern. I'd love you to join me in that project. The video is just there. But if it's not there, I haven't finished it yet. But I'd love for you to join me there. See ya.